This is Dan King with Bible Dude.net. I'm on the line again with uh, Jen Hatmaker, author of Seven. Uh, just a phenomenal book we've been going through. How are you doing uh, this month, Jen? Good to see you. Doing great. Thinking about you and your readers as you like head into possession, possession month. It's a good one. Yeah, I got to say, uh, I've been tossing around the idea with, uh, with some other folks about possessions, and uh, somebody was talking about talking to me about a big challenge of uh, getting rid of a hundred things in their house in a month. And I'm like, hundred things, you got nothing. That's we got right. seven a day, buddy. <laughs> hundred things and I'll raise you seven a day. Yeah. Bragging rights belong to you. <laughs> so, yeah. So when we toss that idea around, it seems, uh, it seems kind of overwhelming. Um, in your mind, uh, what do you, what do you think the most challenging aspect is of, uh, of doing this seven items a day or 210 items for the month or, you know, how, however that looks for somebody. Now, what's the toughest thing about that for you? Well, I have the benefit of hindsight. Yep. And so I can tell you on this side of it that for sure the hardest thing was actually confronting our excess, how much we really have. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, on the front end of the, this month when I went through it originally, I was sort of estimating, well, we we'll probably spent about this, and I, I kind of have about this much, and I, you know, I think this is about where our numbers lie, and then when we got into the month and literally opened the cabinets, opened the closets, um, counted the number of items that we had, it was so much worse than I thought, mm-hmm. so overwhelming, and so for me personally, and, and maybe for you and some of your readers, you may find that this month is a lot of um, just personal assessment and confrontation. A lot of times during this month, which is good. That's what we're here for. You know, we're here for honesty. We're here for truth. We're here for reform if need be. Um, but just be forewarned that you may have spent more, bought more, amassed more than you think you have, right. even if you already think it's kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah, I worked in uh, managing mini storage facilities for a while, too, and I've seen people kind of get that order mentality and stuff and, and pay hundreds of dollars a month for storage units, you know, <laughs> so... Uh, it's crazy. Without ever even visiting for years on end, you know. And so, crazy. So, yeah, it's, uh, uh, I think a lot more of us are probably hoarders than what you realize and, and get in stuck grade, and don't realize like how In yeah. various grades, in various yeah. stages, we don't even mean to be, we kind of slip into it. I think we attach way too much worth and value to things. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, some that aren't really worthy of our obsession over them, our attachment to them. And so I, I think that's something that you and your readers will confront this month yep. um, as you really face them head on and say, why do I have this still? Right. Why did I buy this in the first place? Um, a lot of those questions rise up to the surface and they're tough. They're tough. It was a lot of just, um, I had to face down a lot of denial this yeah. month. So uh, next question here. Uh, what do you think, for you personally, have been some of the biggest benefits that you've got out of uh, doing possession month? Well, so many. <laughs> so many, I'm having a hard time narrowing it down. Let, let me just share kind of the top two with you. Okay. The first of it is there's just something terribly liberating about genuinely, realistically confronting your own materialism and consumerism. So mm-hmm. it's one thing to say, oh, I kind of maybe spent this much and I maybe have, and it's another thing to look it in the face and start purging it. It feels great. Mm-hmm. Um, there wasn't a single moment where I thought, man, I really hate to part with this. Not one moment. Okay. <laughs> maybe one moment. Maybe some of the books were hard to give away, but in general, it felt so good um, to tackle this head on. And so there is just a, something really spiritual happens um, when we put our materialism and our consumerism on the altar and we say, have what you want, you know, have what you will. And so uh, for me, it, personally, internally, there was just so much spiritual movement 
Mm -hmm. And I hear this from all my readers, Um, all the seven readers, just this was the month that really, really resonated because any of us can grab a bag and start going in the house. Second of all, um, I did this month, um, if you read, once you read the book, in community with my council, which were my six girlfriends, um, and then collectively our families. So really it was a, it was a bunch of us. And so we worked really hard this month, uh, not simply to donate our things just randomly, meaning like we're going to take all this and dump it at Goodwill. Mm-hmm. So we don't know whatever's going to happen with it, but it's gone out of our house. Some of that happened. Um, but we worked really hard at finding actual recipients for the things that we had. And so we did a lot of work on the front end, um, contacting our nonprofit partners, um, contacting some activists in the city who work with just um, need groups like refugees and right. transitional housing and um, immigrants and uh, just uh, the working poor, whatever. So we contacted them and said, what do you need? And so their response really drove a lot of our purging. And so doing this in community is so moving. It's mm-hmm. so uh, encouraging and energizing. And so together, me and my friend, and we knocked out stuff. We furnished a whole apartment. I mean, we, we completely outfitted entire families with what they needed. And so I would encourage you and your readers, if you can, right. if, if, I realize that this isn't always easy. It's not always the case. Some of you are reading this by yourself, but even with just your family mm-hmm. and your extended family, if you can do some things together, what we can accomplish in community here, it's really extraordinary. Um, even more so than what you and I can just do on our own. Right. So to me, those were clear winners in this month. We just, we emerged from possession, but just full hearted and, uh, it really, really allowed us to break up with our stuff. And that's amazing, Jen. You know, and one thing I'll say too before I get into this last question is, is I'm really excited about even some of the posts and stuff that I know that we have uh, coming up that we're just even planning on at BibleDo.net about this. Uh, uh, one of the things we want to highlight is some of the ways that people can uh, you know, deal with some of their excess, uh, like uh, the, the garage sale for orphan stuff, which I know is a you know project that uh, you're pretty close to and stuff as well too. But uh, you know, if you had to give uh, somebody some some tips or advice, uh, you know, heading into Possessions Month now, uh, what would it be? A couple things. One I just mentioned a second ago, and that is this month requires some work. Mm-hmm. Um, I spent a good portion of this month driving my stuff somewhere. And so do some of your homework on the front end. Yep. Um, do a little research. Look around your community. Who's meeting needs that you can come alongside who might need your stuff? Um, there's something really magical about connecting with actual people. And yep. so this takes some some effort. It's not just a matter of your own personal thing that you're doing in your house. And so um, find recipients up front. And then you may go, hey, I have that. I didn't think about parting with that, but I can. Um, And so you and your people really, really work on uh, meeting real actual needs in your real actual community um, on the front end. Second of all, don't don't be constrained by the number seven here. Um, This is what I mean. Mm. We approached it kind of formulaic just because it fit the project. Seven things a day. Yep. as it, so what that would have equated to, you did the math, 210 things for the month. Mm-hmm. As it was, we ended up giving away closer to like a thousand mm-hmm. um, because we really underestimated how much we had. Um, and then there are some things that are just so egregiously excessive, like our closets. Mm-hmm. I mean, I gave away over 200 items just from my clothes. Mm-hmm. So. Some things are just, the quantity is so, so anyway, my point is, it may be that seven things a day is too easy. Yeah. Um, and so I, I challenge you to push way beyond that if that's the case for you. If it's not, no worries. Um, but if you find yourself at 400 on day 12, mm-hmm. just keep going. Right. Don't say, well, technically I've met, I've met the quota. Uh, just keep going. I, I think 
I think we're a little bit blind in this area. And so you may too also discover that you have more to give than you think. Um, and so give, and I would say give until it hurts. I dipped into some treasures. Mm. Uh, I dipped into some areas that I like my excess. I like my stuff. Um, and it, it pinched and hurt a little bit to give it. But here I am about two years after the fact. I don't even remember what it was. I can't remember what I gave away. I don't miss it. It's, um, no one died. Right. Um, and so to me in this month, more is more. <laughs> go ahead and go further than you think you can. Give more than you think you should. Um, you will not regret it. I promise you, you won't regret it. There will not come a moment where you say, I really wish I would have kept that. Mm-hmm. And so um, I leave you with just words of encouragement this month. I think it's going to be profound for you. It was for me. Right. Um, it's liberating. It's actually very empowering. It feels really good to purge our lives of all this junk we've amassed. And then in turn to really meet needs in your city. I mean, it's just really fabulous. And so, again, I'll be peeking in at you and your readers and reading their comments. I can't wait to hear what you've done and what you've discovered and what happened in your community.